Okay, hey guys, and welcome to another video. This video is gonna be super cool because I am back at the thrift stores. I haven't been thrifting in so long, in such a very long time. I'm still reselling. Thank goodness the inventory that I have is continuously selling, so that's cool. But now I'm back to resell, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm back to the thrift store, which I'm very super excited about. It's a brand new year. Uh, let's get in there. And also, I have a new strategy now. Before I used to buy things that I thought, well, before I used to buy everything, then I transitioned to, I'm only gonna buy things that are cool that I think will sell, whatever the heck. But now I'm taking it a step further. I'm only gonna buy things that I know have a great resale value and like flip quick, like the name brand stuff, not just, oh, I think this is so cute and it'll sell. And then it eventually does sell, but like, you know, five months later or something. No, now I'm only buying stuff that I know will sell really quickly. So if I leave this store with only one thing, so be it but uh yeah let's get in there okay guys so i'm starting in the shoe section but i browsed this half of the purses and i already found one thing lily pulitzer which is a good brand it's just a little bag for 3.99 so and then like four estee lauders so i figure i may just leave with that who knows do i see some tory Burch shoes oh my god if I, those are tory Burch shoes, i'm gonna die nope they're fake okay that was a nice little psych though but uh yeah let's just keep going and see what else we find see the old me the old me would have wanted to buy these clear boots let me see how much they are doesn't say but i would want to get these i'd be like oh my gosh they're so cool but the new me is saying don't you dare they're not even branded they look dingy and yellow forget it so i'm not gonna do it <laughs> but just you know funny to think that I would have got them. I'm really trying to look at the boots since it's winter time, cold time right now, but I'm um, not really finding anything. It's kind of just like Forever 21 brand stuff, which I mean, sure, it may sell, but it's not a quick seller, so, and it doesn't resell for very much. Look at these, they're so funny. And also I got now these Mina, Mina Tonka shoes. I've sold some of those before for like 20 bucks. Those are $9. I don't know if I'm going to get them. Seems kind of a lot, but we'll see. Okay, now I've made it. Now I made it from the shoe section all the way to the toy section. I got a couple things, but I'm not really sure what exactly I'm going to take. For sure, I know I'm taking these two bags. I found another little Pulitzer one. found some Merrill sandals, which are kind of cool. The boots I'm not sure about and neither these. These are not a real, like a good brand, but I know that Mary Jane style shoes go well, so I don't know. On the fence about those, but now I'm in the toy section hoping to come across something cool. I recently sold a Bratz doll for $80, so if I could come across another one of those, that would be great. But I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. But I do love, the thing I love about Savers is that they make these little toy bundles. And Goodwill doesn't really do that. At least not the ones that I visit. So I do like that because you can get, you know, a good handful of things. For, I mean, not bad price, $2.99, $4.99. So I like that. Oh man, I'm usually really excited about the plush, but it looks so bare. Aww. Hey, you. Do you know how much Super the answer is a lot. To control crowd size, we currently provide all of our offers through email only. Yeah, it looks like the people that know about toys already scan this section because it looks like it's just a whole bunch of nothing so hopefully there's a brat still hanging somewhere in the midst please not seeing anything like that no but i mean good prices for barbies if you really just want to know for yourself you know Oh, I thought this was a brat stuff with a big head, but no. Let's 
Between Diamond and the Rough. See, everyone knows that the Disney stuff doesn't really sell, even though it seems like it would. Alright, moving on. We do have a good selection of like guns here, weapons, which supposedly do really well, but I've never took the time to research them or to see how profitable they really are, so I kind of just steer clear from them. Okay, so remember how I said that the toys were not good? Well, I found two things that I thought were kind of cool. Two Precious Sam Moments to dolls. Front, Sam, to Sam to the front. Um, Two Precious Moments dolls from 1986. So I may get those. I don't know. I'm still going to decide, but that seems pretty good because it's vintage, you know? So, yeah, let's keep going. I have Cabbage Patch dolls here. The last time I bought one from here, I sold it for $80. And it was pretty beat up, but this looks really bad so i'm just gonna stay away from that wait a minute this little dog is vintage this cinderella mouse mm, got a jurassic park dinosaur that's a jurassic park dinosaur then we may be talking we may be in business here i don't know i gotta scope that out. i'll put that in the cart Okay guys, another brand to be on the lookout for, which I'm sure if you're a reseller you already know made well. But I don't know, I'm just not feeling the style or the texture of this. It looks kind of used up. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or what. Plus I'm not really liking the price of $7.79 for something that just doesn't look that beautiful. <laughs> also, just you know, FYI, I hate absolutely dislike shopping in the uh, clothing section. I think it's so boring. I'd rather look for shoes or plush or toys. But if you want to be successful at this kind of stuff, then I mean, well, that's not true. You can be successful without selling clothes. But for me, half of my sales are clothes. So I need to look even though I don't want to. <laughs> I'm still in the clothing section. I came across this brand, which I've never heard of before, but something told me to look it up. And when I did, I'll see they all oh, fortunate, no, not bad. Um, some of the comps for this stuff comes up pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is look this exact jacket up soon. Well, this one looks really, I don't know. Well, it just has these little fuzzies. I'm not sure, but I found two jackets. This one they have for, Look at them. $30.99. But I don't know. This is a like, cute little jacket, so this may be a winner. We'll see. If it sells for like $100, and I'm willing to pay $30 maybe, but we'll see. <laughs> Let's keep going. So I've been looking for hours. This is how my cart looks now. I'm not sure how many of these things I'm going to take. Because look at the prices on this stuff. $29.99. I also found this North Face, which people love north face but it has like all these strange cracks and things i don't know if that's the look of it and it also has a bunch of hair on it plus it's 19.99 so i'm gonna leave it <laughs> even though i felt happy to find it but that's okay i don't know i'm not finding much here like i said i i mean the things i find are like 29.99 and then the things that i just think are kind of cool they are cheaper, but then I wouldn't be sticking to my plan that I mentioned before. So, I don't know what's going to happen, guys. 